the DTM in Barcelona. In the ninth DTM race of the season, after some fair duels with rival driver Timo Scheider, Mercedes-Benz driver Paul Di Resta made it through to finish first, narrowing the gap between himself and the Audi driver in the overall DTM rankings to seven points. It's coming down more and more, so I, I think that's the main thing. Uh, we have to try, keep pushing. Um, you know, still a long way to go. 20 points, two long races, and um, you know it's going to be exciting till the end. There were VIP visitors as early as Thursday. The footballers of FC Barcelona visited the DTM. Superstars Henri, Messi, and Co. were given a brand new company car by Audi's head of sales Peter Schwarzenbauer and were allowed to test it out on the track right away. Nice day. Uh, the players enjoy a lot. So it's a good team building day for uh, also for the trainer for the club. So it's a good. Normally I tend to spend my days in meetings, but today it's motorsports, football, cars, fast driving, everything I really like. It really has been most enjoyable. German stars had a great time too. Timo Scheider and Matthias Ekström showed actors Simon Licht, Anja Kling and Gerrit Kling their DTM cars. Afterwards, they took a ride in Christian Abt's DTM racing taxi. Quite an experience. It wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought I'd be shaking when I got out, but what I did was I breathed in when I got in and I breathed out again when I got out. Another guest at the DTM was Pedro de la Rosa. The Spanish Formula One test driver of McLaren Mercedes met his colleague Gary Paffett in his box. He's a big fan of the DTM. Well, the DTM uh, race is always uh, fantastic. Uh, it's a race that slowly is building up in Spain. Uh, but uh, the good thing about DTM race is that uh, it's very unpredictable, you know, it's like football in a way. You never know who the winner will be and that's something that Formula One lacks. Actor Gary Durden, famous from the TV series CSI Miami, was invited to the DTM spectacle by Matthias Lauda and couldn't resist. Driving Mercedes-Benz for years, I just traded in and uh, I used to have an Audi, my dad had two Audis. And it was the third DTM visit for the band Revolver Held. They know what makes the DTM so fascinating. Of course, first and foremost, it's the cars. They shoot past here really loudly and incredibly fast. There's a lot of power around here today. In two weeks' time, the battle for the DTM throne will continue. Quadruple combat has now become dual combat between Paul Resta and Timo Scheider.